have a really robust research and quality improvement training program here. And I think really uniquely to other programs in family medicine, we provide protected time during residency to uh, complete it as well. We encourage residents to work either in teams or individually, depending on what their interests are. And right now we have about six projects per year, both in research and quality improvement. Um, our scholarly activity really ranges from narrative medicine projects to meta-analyses looking at sports medicine management and to projects looking at uh, antidepressants and maternal outcomes uh, during pregnancy. So I think we have a broad range of projects, types of research and quality improvement that are done and uh, a great infrastructure to support residents in doing that work. Mm -hmm. In order to achieve our overarching goal, which is to educate residents on the consumption of medical literature and to really value and enjoy scholarly efforts throughout their career. We have a, a pretty robust um, program here for both quality improvement and research. Uh, so we begin typically with didactics in the first year uh, where you know, you'll know uh, you participate in a series of lectures that kind of gives you the foundation for um, the type of work that you'll need to do throughout residency. Uh, and then you'll launch into your projects working with um, different facets of the, the medical center, including the biomedical librarian, the division of research, Research, if you're interested in research with our local quality folks, uh, our quality experts who monitor the work that we do um, here at KP San Jose. And then, you know, we'll, you'll work with uh, Dr. Rida and myself and actually conducting the project. Uh, so, uh, you know, throughout your three years, uh, you'll be involved in scholarly, scholarly activity throughout uh, in order to hopefully successfully towards the end uh, submit for uh, publication or presentation at a, at a conference of your interest. And we want to um, have the program really work for you and be aligned with what your interests and career goals are. So during your career here in residency, we both Brooke and I meet with you initially to understand your interests and your goals. We have a guideline around timelines to help keep you on track, but it's also flexible uh, for each learner. I would say there's an emphasis on uh, really getting that scholarly work done in first year, starting that first, and then in second year is when we really delve into quality improvement. My role is research project manager, um, and I think it's a relatively unique position within the Kaiser Permanente system, especially in Kaiser Permanente, Northern California. My background is I have a PhD in clinical psychology, um, so and um, you know, 15 years of research experience um, and three years of quality improvement experience. So now um, my goal and my effort is to support you all. I am actually here for the residents. Um, I'm full time, and my work is dedicated to making sure that you get the best education and you succeed during your time in residency. Uh, so what that actually looks like, um, I do a lot of curriculum development. I um, give the curriculum, so I uh, give didactics and lectures. I monitor your progress throughout. I um, evaluate you. I track your progress. I report your progress to the clinical competency committee, to your advisors. Um, I support you from, you know, initial um, brainstorming, initial design, all the way through dissemination. Um, so I'm d reading a lot of um, manuscripts and IRB applications and, um, you know, providing advice and guidance around post or design and so forth. Yeah, Brooke is kind of that research mentor everyone wished they ever had. So <laughs> it's all in one, which is perfect. Um, and so I'm uh, Catherine Rideau. I My background is uh, similarly in research. I have a PhD in cellular and molecular biology and then did a postdoctoral work um, in um, neurodevelopment and adverse childhood experiences. Um, and I'm here as your research director for the residency. Again, I view my role as supportive of the residents and their interests and along with Brooke, really um, helping shepherd and guide the projects along, helping from developing the research question that aligns with your interests to really getting that paper or abstract uh, or presentation out um, to a larger audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, we both make up 
along with other leadership on campus, the uh, research uh, program committee, which mm -hmm. kind of oversees all projects and um, again, provides extra guidance. Yeah, we definitely work in partnership to ensure your success. Thank you.